Hey everybody, I'm Josh Jackson from WPSculptor.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a coming soon page for your WordPress website. And this is something you might want to set up while you create your site so that you'll be the only person that's able to see it during its construction. And then of course when you're ready to open it up to the public, you can simply disable the coming soon page and your site would be officially live. So to set this up, we're going to log into the back end of our site by typing in our domain name forward slash WP admin and then log in with your credentials. And we're gonna be using a plugin, so let's come over to the left, hover over plugins, and click on add new. In the upper right search box, we're gonna type in coming soon. And we're gonna use the one on the upper left here by Seed Prod, and you can see it's got 87 excellent reviews, over 200,000 active installs, and also it's been recently updated here, you can see that. All of these things are good signs that this is a good plugin for us to use. So we're going to click on install now. And after that, we're going to get this activate box. We're going to click on activate. And that's going to automatically take us to the coming soon plugin settings. And just so you know, you can access this same page by going to settings and clicking on coming soon page. And that'll take you right here. So by default, you can see the status is disabled. So we're going to enable this plugin by checking the option there. And then we'll scroll down and we have a few options here that we can fill out. First of all, I'm going to select the logo from my uh, image library by clicking here. And then if you haven't uploaded your logo yet, you would click on this upload files option and then select files here to find that file on your computer. But we've already got it added to our media library. So I'll select it from here and then I'll click on insert into post. And then you can add a headline and I'm just gonna copy and paste some text that I have. And you can add a message and I'll do the same. I'll just copy and paste. And then we wanna make sure and click on save all changes or we could scroll down and save all changes here. And it's important to do that before you switch tabs, otherwise those changes won't save. So now that we've got those changes saved, I want to show you that while you're logged in, you'll still be able to work on your website and you'll still be able to see those changes take effect. So I'm going to open up the front end in a new tab here. And you can see that, of course, we're logged in as, as demonstrated by the admin bar showing up and we see our website. Now, if I open up a new browser and I'll just use Safari, and if I go to the same website, businesswebsite.quickwebsitecreation.com, you can see we have this coming soon plugin activated. So it's just this light gray background with this dark text and we have our logo. Now I'm gonna go back to Firefox where I'm logged in and I'll go back to the back end. And if you switch to this design tab, you have more design options. You can see right here, you could change your color, your background color, or you can use a background image. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna select uh, an image from the media library by clicking there. And I've got this image that I got from pixabay.com. I'm just gonna insert that into post and go ahead and save the changes. And I'm gonna go back to Safari and refresh. So you can see that picture is updated. Now I need to make this text a little bit lighter, so we'll go back and I'll scroll down. I'm still under this design tab. I'll scroll down and I'm gonna change the text color here and I'll select this white option. And then for the headline color, I'm gonna select color and then choose the white option again and click on save all changes and go back to Safari where I'm not logged in and refresh the page. All right, that looks much better. Now, of course, to deactivate the coming soon page. So let's say that you've done all your work and everything is ready to go. You're ready to launch your site. You're gonna get log in to the back end, of course, and go to the settings coming soon page. And that's gonna take us to the main settings page for this coming soon plugin. And we're simply going to click on this disabled option and save all changes. And now when we go back and refresh to the page, you can see that our site would be live. All right, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more easy to follow WordPress tutorials coming your way soon.